So here's a USB adapter for cars, it's from Ugreen and inside the package are these, the car charger itself it has two USB outputs, it's quick charge free compatible Ugreen quick charge free dual ports, USB car charger, it's black you have to open it here, it says open it has a velcro for cable management some papers and a cable, USB cable, Smart Digital Life, Ugreen USB A 2.0 to USB Type C cable. That's the cable. It has a nice plug. I think it's metal because it's cold. From USB Type A to USB Type C. This is also branded, Ugreen logo on it, and it's braided as a textile cover. So here's the charger itself. So it looks like this. It has two USB outputs. The top one has to be the 2.4 amp output and the lower one is the quick charge free, the green. It's not too light, it has some weight. It says a 30 watts 2 port car charger. USB A output 5 volts 2.4 amps and quick charge output 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. The input is between 12 volts DC and 24 volts DC. So you can use it in larger cars also which have double the voltage. So this should be connected to a 12 volt socket like that. It has a small blue light here on the lower side there it already has power now it's not powered the LED is off so when there is power there's a blue LED and when there is no power the blue LED is off the cable's length is around a meter there's another paper positive pole is the end, negative pole is the side, USB power output 5 volts 2 amps, that's with the two thunderbolt signs, LED indicator, that small one, and quick charge 3.0 port is the one which is green. So with this plugged in there, I can close that one, but of course if I plug in a wire, then I cannot close it, using a slimmer one. This is much longer, so here's a size comparison. That might allow you to close it, of course it's hanging out. So taking consideration the height. So let's try the slower one. USB type C goes in there. By the way, let's use a small meter also. So the adapter is connected to the meter and then it goes to the drone. Now let's power it, it is powering at 5 volts, 0, 3 amps, and it's charging, 1.4, so after a while it's a bit faster, let's even start the engine, that turned it off, now it's charging from the beginning, first at a slower amperage, so turning on the engine doesn't make a difference, there's enough power in the battery and now it's at the higher voltage 1.4 amps at 5 volts okay now let's plug it in in the second one that should be faster and even the LEDs should blink faster and it's at 12 volts at 1.8 amps so that's the quick charge so once again now it's charging slower, 5 volts and 0 0.4 amps, 1.5 amps, so it's not reaching the 2.4 as mentioned. The battery is halfway charged, we have only 2 LEDs out of 4. And now it will quick charge. And it's already at 12 volts. 12 volts, 1.8 amps. So there's a quick charge.
and the ring is quick charging the LEDs are flashing much faster in time it might get hotter a little bit currently I don't feel anything so that's the U-Green charger 30 watt 2 port charger since it's 30 watts it can deliver that power for each and every USB output so 30 watts are divided by 2 roughly and this U-Green cable is also a data cable not just a charge cable I can see my phone's contents 